In some of the world's most popular tourist destinations, animals are being exploited for profit. But British wildlife activists are fighting back. The pool's tiny. Using cameras and smartphones, they are going undercover to explore and expose these practices. I'm Sally Snow and I'm here on Bali in the heart of Indonesia. Almost four million people come through here every year. But I'm not here on holiday. I'm a zoologist and filmmaker and I'm here to investigate the dolphin tourism. I've heard that across the tourist island of Bali, dolphins are held captive in hotel swimming pools to perform for tourists. I want to see for myself what's going on. I'm heading to the tourism office to see what they've got on offer. Hello, afternoon. What are the different options on Bali? Yeah. Swimming with dolphins, like 30 minutes, but this is on the pool. OK. Yeah, it's hotel, yeah? Dolphins like very friendly, so you, you will kiss them, touch. Oh, really? Every, yeah. So the guys at the tourism office pointed out that Lavina is the place to go to swim with dolphins. So I've booked into the Melka Resort Hotel in Lavina. From here, it's about three hours drive north, and it's to swim with dolphins. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, afternoon. I just arrived in the hotel, and uh, I'm just going to go and check out the pool and see the dolphins there. OK, perfect. Thank you. Let's see what's here. Oh, my god. It's a crocodile. It's a big place. So many rooms. Yeah. And the dolphins, they are here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five dolphins. Five of them? Yeah, five dolphins. It's looking pretty grimy. Oh, it's pretty gross. Yeah, just seeing the dolphin in the pool in this really run-down place, oh, it was just, it's just really sad. At nine o'clock every morning, the hotel puts on a dolphin show, and this morning, I've got a ticket. Jesus! Oh, my goodness. There are five dolphins here in three tiny pools. Just get an idea of the size of the pool these guys are jumping in. The pool is about 10 or 15 metres across. The dolphins have been trained to perform and they are fed each time they complete a command. After the show, I get the chance to ask a few questions. What's what's uh, the dolphin's name? Rocky. Rocky? Yeah. Where, how did the dolphins come here? They were in traveling circus last time. So in tra traveling circus? What's that? So they come to somewhere and then just stay like maybe one month on two weeks and then they put the normal water, not salt, and with many chemicals. Oh, wow. So there is still a, there's still a circus going on? No. Not anymore? Yeah. As a hotel guest, I need to act like a tourist. So after the show, it's time for me to get in with the dolphins. OK. Oh, I've never been too close to the dolphins. Mm -hmm. Now okay. we'll come through. Smile, please. Closer. He's in back on his leg. Give him a laugh. Please, please, he doesn't please, want to stop it until he gets back. Come on, come on. He wants more. more. Uh, one more, more. Come on, it's okay. Come on, come on. Come on. It's only after the kissing trick that the dolphin gets fed. <sighs> this is possibly the worst thing that I've ever done. I asked where the dolphins came from. 
They said they're around 20 years old, but they got them from a traveling circus. Now then what the hell is a traveling circus? Back in the room, I get a chance to examine the footage. There's five dolphins here, okay? And there's three pools. And the pool can't be more than about 10 or 15 meters. It's tiny. Just look at that eye. That is not healthy. This one is probably one of the most alarming. Notice how flat the forehead of the dolphin is. Usually, dolphins are more rounded, OK? If I compared this to my chart, to me, this most matches the emaciated dolphin, OK? If that's the case, that's huge. That means that dolphin is that's starving. The dolphin pool shuts at 4 o'clock and doesn't reopen until 8 in the morning. It's past four o'clock now. See the dolphin between the two cloths. He must be the loneliest dolphin. I've been told that dolphins are being kept in terrible conditions across Indonesia. I want to go and meet a marine wildlife campaigner to find out whether there is any truth in this. I first of all, I went to Melka Hotel. So I found that they've got the five dolphins there. Yeah. They told me these dolphins had been rescued mm -hmm. from a travelling circus. Mm -hmm. Do you know much about that? They come from a travelling dolphin show. And that's a dolphin jumping through a flaming hoop. Yep. And they're very loud music and in a tiny, highly chlorinated pool. But these travelling circuses are not illegal, right? No, they, we kicked them out of Bali with protests. But now the travel show is in three other places, in, in Java and in Sumatra. And uh, they don't love foreigners, right? Because they're suspicious of foreigners. They hate foreigners. 12.20. I want to track down this travelling dolphin circus and get inside. But I'm going to need help, so I'm meeting up with a group of local activists. So it's super nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Excellent. On the way to the hotel, we drive past the circus. It's in the car park of the local sports stadium. See that one? That's the circus. Wow, so it's just in that small tent? Yeah. yeah. It's the small tent. Wow. Before they have like a big Wow, it's really small. The circus is suspicious of tourists and has banned filming, so capturing the shows is going to be really difficult and potentially dangerous. Say we get into the circus and then we get busted, what are they likely to do? If they start touching you like this... Yeah. And it's it not a good makes, sign. Not a good sign. OK. Uh, like remove their hand or remove their yeah. touching and mention, don't touch me. The plan is, we've got this little map here. I'm actually going to arrive by bike with one of the guys. The guys are going to park the car here for safety. So this is our getaway. We go in as a tourist. I'm going to be wearing the secret camera. It's proper undercover emission right now. OK, so that's our car, right? Yeah. Just travelling down now towards the place. That is the banner. Yeah. yeah. Before we try to buy tickets, I head to the toilet to fit the secret camera. I'm starting to feel really nervous. Oh, sorry, yes. You want, you want it? Would it, to go in? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where do we sit? I don't know. They say just up front. Oh, that's the dolphin. Business. Apa tu? Kawan ini, siapa tahu banyak yang beli di situ ada beberapa. Masih. Masih sebagai bahasa isyarat. Bismillah. It's soon very clear I'm the only Westerner here. To look less suspicious, I have to pretend to go along with the crowd and seem like I'm enjoying the show. Woo! 
When they splash the crowd, you can literally taste the chlorine. The dolphins spend a lot of time out of the pool. They could be begging for food, or they might be trying to escape. The show's over, and I can't wait to get out of there. It's incredibly difficult to film these circuses. There's not that many foreign tourists that go in, so for me to go in, we had to be incredibly careful. And luckily, we got some of those images. And those images prove that these traveling circuses are still going on. Wow! It's unbelievable cruel yeah. what they do to these dolphins. And it's sickening. They're turning unique and special creatures of the ocean into clowns. So it's money-making machines. <laughs>